Jake, this is your second time with us this season on MLB. How's Central. Brooks? Yes, how's your little one? <laughs> he's doing good. He's uh, 10 months old now. He's crawling around, pulling himself so up cute. on stuff. So. Got to keep the eyes on him at all times now. Last he was here, he had no core. You know, he had yeah, a little baby. Yeah, he's an adorable, like... adorable baby. Now, Jake, obviously, when you visited with us in studio, you were then a member of the Chicago White Sox. Now you're with the Marlins. How would you describe the time in between your two appearances here on the show? Yeah, yeah, it's uh, kind of been a whirlwind. Um, but, you know, I'm, I'm loving it down here in Miami. And uh, anytime you get to be a part of a wild card race with 11 games to go, you know, it's uh, it's really, you know, it's it's exciting. And, um, you know, it's the, the trade aspect. It's so interesting going to a new clubhouse because I've only been with the White Sox. So learning uh, the new system, learning new names. Uh, it's a whirlwind for sure, but I'm I'm definitely loving it so far. Hey, Jake, let's go ahead and rip the Band-Aid off. Was that ball fair or foul last night? <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was fair, but, yeah, yeah. Um, it, uh, it, it was tough. Um, you know, it's Soli's always our guy that uh, it's that, that big home run. So, um, you know, I, I like to think it's fair, but uh, that could just be uh, me having a bias a little bit. So, basically, not getting you in trouble. They called it originally fair, then change their mind, foul, then skip replayed it. Yeah, yeah. Um, and that, that's as far as I'll take it. Okay, okay there's mm. more to the story. What did Jorge say it. about it? Uh, he he was obviously upset it wasn't a home run, but, um, you know, he, he, he's one of those guys that can kind of brush things off pretty quickly. Jake, uh, Outlighter here. So uh, you hit the ball really hard, tops and, uh, you know, the, the, the leaderboard stuff with uh, exit velocity. But I got to drill down on, on how we open this, this little interview with you. It's not just a few percentage points in your batting average against. You were 214 with the White Sox and now 305. That's significant. And I'll yeah. even add the strikeouts. Your strikeout rate is down 10%. Give somebody love, or is there a change, or what? what is Brent Brown, John Mabry? Give us something inside that, because this is so discernible. Something is different. Yeah, yeah. Um, right when I got to the Miami clubhouse, uh, talked with Brent Brown and, and John Mabry, and, um, you know, I think that was the, the one area that I wanted to improve in, um, in terms of average. So... Uh, we, we got to kind of working it out and, um, you know, kind of just slowing down my swing a little bit. Uh, I have a tendency to get over cranked uh, mm -hmm. with, with my hip and uh, spin out of it. And so I really only have one area that I can uh, do any damage at. And so uh, I was just kind of controlling that a little bit, slowing that down and, um, you know, being able to drive the ball to all parts of the field rather than uh, just the pull side. So. We, we, we've done a lot of drills, um, you know, that, that Brand Brown did um, with with a lot of the Dodgers guys because he was in L.A. for a while. And, um, you know, that's that's definitely helped. Jake, I hate the question. What's the vibe in the clubhouse? I feel like you ask that when you have nothing else to ask. But we're living and dying with these National League wildcard standings. What what is said after each game? Uh, the the model for us is just big hearts. Um, Obviously, I wasn't with the team at the beginning of the season, but, um, you know, it's kind of that uh, nobody believed in us uh, type type energy. And, um, you know, why not us? And and that's really fun. You know, it, obviously, we went through a, a really tough stretch um, with the schedule and still have, you know, the, the Mets uh, for two more series and, and the Brewers. And um, it's just like, why not us? And uh, that, that's that's really fun to be a part of because. You never feel like you're out of the game. Um, doesn't matter what the score is. It's just, hey, uh, somebody's going to get it done. And um, over, over the last uh, 15 games or so, it feels like uh, somebody new is always getting that, that big hit. All right, you got an off day in Chicago. You're probably walking the Magnificent Mile, maybe going to Lincoln Park Zoo. <laughs> what are you doing in Miami on an off day now? <laughs> well, my, my wife loves the beach, so uh, probably going to a beach. Um, I, you know, we love it down here. The the food, the culture, the vibe of the city is just just incredible. And uh, my wife loves Florida, so, um, you know, that, that always helps as well. Are you a beach guy? I'm not. Um, you Are know, you a I'm, huge, like, hide underneath SPF all the way yeah. through? Oh, me too. <laughs> yeah. Me too. Yeah. He's got this. You gotta take care of your skin. Oh, I'm gonna get burned. 
Uh, Jake, get in the water, Jake. <laughs> <laughs> There's sharks and fish out there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, great That's right. Hey, and, and you, the football team is much better in Miami than it is in Chicago right now. I mean, let's be honest. There's a crisis going on with the Chicago Bears. Hey, real quick, you've had a uh, – you, how would you rate the two home run celebrations that you've been a part of yeah. with the White okay. Sox at the beginning of the year and, of course, the Miami Marlins? How would you rate the, uh, the, the two? I think they're both like really cool because they both kind of give the vibe of the city. Um, you know, you got the, the big chain with the, uh, the nice beach hat and then uh, <laughs> in, in Chicago, it's kind of the uh, Chicago mobster look. Yeah. So, yeah, I kind of, they're, they're both like very similar in a way that they uh, get, give credit to the uh, city we're in. I think guys try too hard sometimes with facial hair. I mean this wholeheartedly. You can pull out off any look you're going for. The mustache works. It looks good, man. The full beard works. All uh, You probably do mutton chops. I'm yeah. sure those would be perfect. <laughs> what seems to be the problem, officer? <laughs> that's what I That's what I feel like I should be saying when I see that mustache. That's amazing. Hey, what, what'd you have for breakfast? Yeah. Uh, I've not eaten breakfast yet. So okay. uh, what are we going with? Got to get it in. Um, you know, I'm going to probably pick up uh, a quick Starbucks because uh, Ashlyn and Brooks are flying in. Um, about an hour and a half, so I'm gonna go pick them up and uh, bring them, bring them a coffee. Uh, you know, get a. I should bring them a cafecito, a Cuban coffee, but um, the Starbucks is gonna be the easiest. Mm. All right, all right. Well, it's a, it, it's a little risky to give coffee to a baby. I'm just saying, but <laughs> if that's uh, if that's the route you want to go, by Speaking all means. Picking up his wife at the airport with Starbucks. That's right. great. Yeah. Hey, Jake, we appreciate you joining us, man. Congratulations on all your success. Thanks for coming on again, and best of luck to you and the Marlins the rest of the way. Thank you so much.